In addition to the death reported yesterday, I'm very sad to inform you that we have had five additional deaths today, bringing Alberta's total to eight. Two of the deaths occurred in long-term care facilities or uh, seniors housing, a female in her 70s at Calgary's Mackenzie Town facility and a male in his 80s at Edmonton's Rosedale facility. The remaining three deaths include a female in her 50s in the Calgary zone, a male in his 80s in the Edmonton zone, and a male in his 30s in the North zone. I would like to extend my deepest sympathies to the families and loved ones of these individuals. This news is heartbreaking for all of us. In the last 24 hours, we have confirmed 29 cases of COVID-19. While the number of confirmed cases in the last few days has been less than what we've seen previously, this is due to several factors. We have stopped testing returning travelers, so we knew that our daily positive numbers would go down. We have also had a decrease in the total daily tests in the lab over the past few days, given some challenges with lab testing supplies. It will take us several days more of this new testing protocol to get enough data to understand our trends. I expect by the end of this week, we will have a better sense of what this data means to our risk in Alberta. We suspect that up to 65 of our total cases to date may be the result of community transmission. Let me remind you that this number refers to those new cases that do not have a clear link to a previously known case. This is a concerning number. 691 is the total number. Uh, and then with respect to the five deaths that we've had, and again, please, I want to convey my deepest sympathies to the families because this each death is a tragedy and to have five in one day is heartbreaking. Um, so there was a female in her 70s in Calgary, uh, as well as a female in her 50s in Calgary. In Edmonton, there were two males in their 80s and a male in his 30s in the North Zone.